Okay, before we do the video, I've been having a debate with all my friends. Levis, Hendon, Bryce Young, CJ Stroud, Anthony. Who will, if you had to put $100,000 on who will have the best career, who are you betting on and why in the comments? Like I said, this has been a huge debate. Also, guys, I have an idea, okay? I want to, and kill like button. If you want to say 10,000 likes, we're going to do it in the next like three or four days. So kill like button if you guys want to see that. I want to rebuild the worst team in NFL history. So reset to 2017. Cleveland Browns, the 0-17 Browns. I want to go back to that team, rebuild them with draft. If you think that's a cool idea, um, you can let me know in the comments down below. Enjoy the video, guys. Fantasy draft. Enjoy. Ladies and gentlemen, boom, fellas, boom. Fantasy draft, steal player. This is my favorite concept that I do on the channel. If you guys don't know, I'm going to put the rules up on the screen. I also kill like you play 11 games or 10 games. Every single game, if you win, you get to steal your opponent's best players. It goes all the way until the Super Bowl. It's a full season. One video, we do a fantasy draft where you pick four rounds only. So your four round players are going to be your superstars. Everything else is CPU drafted and you can steal a player. Guys, I love you all. Ba-bam, look on the screen. I am the Tampa Bay Bucks. Are the Tampa Bay Bucks a team like, I feel like with regs, if I hadn't already done the Baker Mayfield thing, I feel like they'd be a really, really interesting team to do a regs franchise with. with <laughs> Boom! Oh my gosh, I did it again! So I'm gonna let the beat drop! Oh, 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 oh my gosh! My Lamar franchise got deleted. My Lamar franchise got deleted. Do you guys know I had Lamar and we did the entire franchise just for it to get completely deleted? Guys, the Philadelphia Eagles on the clock now. Lamar me. Lamar me. Boom! Let's go! Nothing brings me... Oh my gosh! Nothing brings me more joy than getting... Like, how? Oh my gosh! Like I said, I had Lamar in a franchise. That franchise, Madden had that big thing where everything got deleted. I had Lamar, and it got deleted completely. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Packers, we play week two. Um, I always have good games against the MEQ. Like I said, I got the... It's one thing to get Lamar, it's another thing to keep Lamar. And it's another thing to put good things around. Where I want to go with my next picks, I kind of want to go and get someone who... I could go with Jalen Hyatt. Um, I quit, like, I could go there, but I don't think that's where I want to go with this pick. I kind of low-key want to go Tariq Woolen. I've, I've found Tariq Woolen in a lot of leagues is one, but like with Marlo here, I, I would never do that. And Marlo, I could probably get two really good DBs back to back. Like a Lattimore and an AJ Terrell would be, I'd be super pumped up about both of those guys. They're both superstar DBs. I could get, hmm, or I could get like a Lattimore and a Tariq Woolen. Darius Slay. I just, because I have Lamar, I'm not going to go receiver here. Um, and receivers are the easiest to steal and steal a player. There's always tons of receivers. There's the most superstar receivers. Big play slay I've never used. I really have not. Um, and I, it's not like anything personal. I've just never used Darius Slay. And I'm like interested. And in, like I really am. Lattimore though I've just had so much success with over a long period of time with him that I feel like Lattimore is difficult to not take. Marlowe, I had him in the last fantasy draft, so I'm gonna avoid, I think I'm gonna go big play, bro. Just cause I've never used him. Um, yeah, this is purely because I've never used him and he's a stud, absolute stud. Boom, new player on the team. Who are Mel's best available here? Do you see receivers have been picked over? There's no value there. I think honestly, Marlon Humphrey, 96 press. I haven't used him a ton this year. AJ Terrell is a beast as well, but I think I'm going to go... Oh, I'm in between Marlon and Marshawn. Marlon's just big, dude. 94 press. Plays big. But I have him. I'm going to go Lattimore. Just because I had... Um, I had... Um, Marlon, uh, last fantasy draft, Marshawn Lattimore, always a stud on defense. We'll get you picks. We'll do everything you need. Let's go just see. Like I said, in these fantasy drafts, you get four picks. So I only get one before my team is complete. So my next pick has to be a receiver. Okay. I honestly don't really know where to go here. I really don't. 
Chris Olave. You know what? That's where I'm going to go. I'm going to go there. 89, size, speed, he's the best combo left. By far, and I have not used him very much in these franchises at all. This is one of my first kind of times using him. The way I see this right now, guys, let's, let's create DBU. Let's grab... Um, let's grab Eric Stokes. I've, I've made Eric Stokes into one of the best DBs in the league in a season before. Eric Stokes is six foot one. He can box anybody. Um, you start him day one. I use him with those other DBs. We're looking a little scared. Like I said, as long as the CPU helps us out and gets me some receivers, our defensive secondary has is the best secondary in the league. You won't find someone who probably drafted more secondary. And early in games, defensive stops are going to be what win us games. I'm just saying that defensive stops will win us games. And we got to start stealing people. We got to protect Lamar Jackson um, early. Super, super, super important. But, yeah, as far as everything else, guys, week one, we got the Cowboys. We'll go through, like, uh, training and stuff as we go. Lamar me. Ten weeks of steal a player, playoffs, Super Bowl, on one video. Let's go. Hey, let's go. Boom. This is always the moment of truth. This is uh, when you see how the CPU did for you. Um, if the CPU helped or hurt me, I'm not going to go rosters. I'm just going to go one by one. We got Bailey Zappi. I almost did a... Um, a franchise, a Patriots franchise with this dude, like mid-year because he was doing so good for that team. But it's either here nor there. Lamar Jackson at QB, running back. Love these. Love, love, love having Swift on the team. Love that. DeAndre Swift is like one of my favorite receivers in Madden. Um, you guys, I don't know if you guys remember. Well, you do um, remember Mounties franchise. I won two Super Bowls in the Toronto Mounties franchise with DeAndre Swift, great running back, uh, and then Clyde edwards Hilaire and Raheem Blackshear, good backups, receivers, this is the big one, and oh, thank gosh, okay, this is good, this is really good, if it wasn't for this, we would be in trouble, this is really good, Lazard is a top tier Madden receiver, top tier, Olave, top tier, Chenault, top tier, and then we have Speed with Schwartz, Isaiah Likely, oh, and Albert, oh my gosh. Maybe I run KC with two tight ends. An audible down. I mean, and that, that's definitely something. Jedrick Willis, I don't know, wow. Okay, I'm hoping Lucas Van Ness. Defense is looking nice. I like having Van Ness. We got a good rusher. That's something I was a little worried about. The All the rookies' accelerations mess because... They had Will Anderson. That's got to get fixed because all of the rookie class that we used had Will Anderson's acceleration at 77. So that's going to get fixed. Um, Van Ness is a great edge rusher. Ed Oliver. Do we have any? Josh Allen. Beautiful. Jordan Hicks with Devin Bush. Shut up and put your money where your mouth is. Boom. Oh, wow. Dude, the CPU... CPU are the GOAT. Oh, I have one user in Theo Jackson. Rookie Theo Jackson. He's 6 foot 190 speed, though. And then kicker. I don't know if we have the kicker. The CPU is going to sign the kicker. Okay. As far as early games, it's so important in these that we just we have to win early. We can't lose games in these first few weeks. We got to stay tough. My most important focus player is Lamar Jackson. Um, and then also, we're going to go with. Anthony Schwartz is our other most important. These are the guys that I need to upgrade. Devs and uh, everything in XP is increased because it's a shortened season. We're going to go through preseason. Hopefully something cool happens. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, preseason week three, we have a training camp standout. Um, who is Josh Allen? Let's go. He, like I said, he is someone who at times is actually... I have too many good... I have Van Ness... Wow. I'm going to have Van Ness, Allen, and Isaiah Simmons rushing the passer. And those three, I honestly think, guys, this draft, I would give this a 10 out of 10. I honestly don't think I felt more confident in this team. I know I can win games with this team. I really, really, really do. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boom, open it. Dude, nothing is more fun than steal a player. Um, obviously, our goal is to win the Super Bowl. When steal a player, you're always looking at your opponent's team being like, who can I take to make my team better? And just, cr like, he's got Justin Field and Aaron Donald. Like, there's a couple ways of thinking. I have a lot of tough games, and obviously I want to keep Lamar. But 
in order to keep Lamar, you literally have to go undefeated. Um, Lamar is probably the most. That's the problem. I almost, I didn't, I almost, and it was Lamar, so I had to, but I almost took someone else with that pick. Be, just for insurance. Because, like, Lamar will get stolen so fast that it's, like, it's such a 50-50 battle knowing what to do with all that because there is a chance he's like, I could have him for one game and he's gone. Two games and he's gone. You know, but I'm going to win games and get other people. So if I ever get a chance against a quarterback and in one of these first few weeks, um, I might, rather than going with like a D lineman, I might take a quarterback for insurance. I'm trying to win the whole thing, bro. I want the chips and the dip. With it, I want everything. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go. I set my depth chart, um, but first I want to talk about our training camp standout and hope that I can pull. I've never pulled one of these off, which drives me crazy. Um, I'll never there, coach. I didn't put get two combined sacks with Josh Allen to continue his breakout. Um, I never end up getting those for whatever reason. But let's go look at the Cowboys and see where he. I, I'm guessing Donald was his second pick. Who was his first pick? Ooh, he's freaking. He's got a fast receiver. I know it. I know it. I know it. I know it. He is D line you, bro. He is D line you. Okay, I think. I thought there was going to be someone else. I honestly think this is a pretty no brainer. Um, I think he took Justin Fields because he wanted him. I think if I win, I'm taking Aaron Donald so fast. My head's going to spin. Okay, as far as our official depth chart before we hop into this game, um, the problem with these leagues is you have to redo your depth chart every single game. So it's like best to just like use your default players because redoing the depth chart gets so annoying because every time you make a trade in this game, it makes you reset. So as far as my sub linebackers, Isaiah Simmons um, is probably going to go third because when I play 3-3, I want him there. Um, I'm going to go Theo Jackson as our user. Second user, probably Devin Bush, I would say. Rush right end is going to be Lucas Van Ness. Rush left end is going to be Isaiah Simmons. Rush D tackle is going to be, can I, okay, you know what? No, no, this is how we got to do this. Rush right end is going to be Josh Allen. Rush D tackle, because I early I plan on playing a lot of dollar because of the DBs that I have. And then Stokes, I think I want... Slay and Lattimore in the slot. And then Stokes and Pride on the outside are kind of is the official depth chart. Okay, guys, every win matters, every game matters. Let's go. Okay, guys, with the defense that I drafted, it is the most basic, well, not basic, but it's a defense that allows me to play a lot of man coverage early against teams that won't have receivers and hopefully win some games early, get a better um D line and build on, but like I said, that's why I feel like the DB strategy is the best in this. You might argue me, but I do feel like, like he has no superstar receivers right now. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play a lot of man, and I'm just gonna watch the people who are on superstars. So like, I don't know what that looks like to you guys. That to me is glue. That he made a catch by clicking on, but there was nobody open right there. So. We just only got to worry about the people that aren't on receivers. So, like, th these two outside guys, I'm going to manually shade, manually put him on the inside, and then watch out for a post. Big, big, big play. Slay, what I tell you guys? Isaiah, likely my favorite player on this team. Caught him in zone. Caught him trying too hard to defend Lamar Jackson. Easy money. Dot. Yep, bagged. Just man coverage. That's uh, Scantling. It's his best receiver. I feel like he's going to try and find him. Oh, you got to make a play, Devin Bush. Freaking boxed up like a... Don't even know. This is why he's my favorite. That's just That just might be why he's my favorite running guy. In case you're wondering, that's why. Bro, this is criminal. This is criminal. This guy cannot move. He literally, his receivers won't get open. 
He has no time. He needs receivers. Badly, 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 badly. But I don't even know who. Who do I take? You gotta take Aaron Donald here. Go Swift. Go Swift. Good run, Swift. Beam. What I say, man. Alan Lazard is probably someone who you're gonna see on my team for the entirety of this um he's just that good he really 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 is like that good in this game six foot five and 90 speed is not something you see very often and he has that oh good job Lamar. i can go on aggressive with lamar once he has trust so because of this ability that he has right now i can run freely and just try and break tackles I'm having fun. Are you having fun? Right here, because now you're down three scores, and I know we're in the first half, but the way this offense hasn't been able to generate. Ah, uh, good play. They got to find a way to bring those those two elements together so they can make some progress. Nope. Fourth down. For no gain. And it'll be fourth down. Part of me wants Justin Fields they just for insurance, but. That, I feel like that's just a scared money does not make money. Oh my god. P but part of me says, take Justin Fields. You can run your offense the same the entire year. Even if someone steals Lamar from me, if I have him, you know? That's the only argument to it that I would actually, like, I'd listen to that argument. And I would definitely, like give a lot of valid validity to the argument to take Justin Fields for him over, but Donald is the best. Okay, our rule is if I score it with Alan Lazard right here, you guys gotta kill a like button on the video, if it, especially if it's a laser. Like a back corner beam. Do I get a like for that? That was pretty, that was the rule. I said, that I threw that literally, I lobbed that to the back corner. Click on Beam 28 here. Okay, he's quite note. Um, the decision, I think it's an easy decision that I, I've overthought it, but I think like Van Ness, oh my gosh. I'll give you two reasons. I'll give you two arguments for both, okay? Who are his best players? Anderson, Scantling, honestly, none of the... I would say Justin Fields would be the only one that I would take. And I would take Justin Fields to be my backup. So that way if Lamar got hurt, I could run the offense the exact same. And I'm not left with... The reason I say that is just because when you look at my team, if I lose Lamar one week, bro, I'm, I'm in shambles. You know? Like, my D-line can last a couple more weeks. I play the Packers next week, who I know is a good player. Who does he have? He's got Kyler. You know what? If I win next week, I take Kyler from him. And then I have insurance. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to be smart here. I'm going to take Aaron Donald. As I should, I am going to take Aaron Donald. I think that's the right move. He's the best player in the game. Obvious decision. But I just really like this young D-line. But that's neither here nor there. We are going to be picking up Aaron Donald. Um, I'll send him James Smith Williams and we got a deal. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, one and oh, um, we got the Packers next week who I believe will win the, or no, we got the saints next week who I believe will win their game. Um, and I'll see you guys at the saints. Oh, I messed up because the saints dude is the one who I know is good. Who does the saints have? Let's look at that. Oh my gosh. Saints got miles smiles, bro. Saints got Miles Smiles and Jalen Hyatt. I'm happy with the trade I did. Mm, okay, we'll see you guys week two. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boom, week two. 0-1, oh um, which means they lost somebody. The, they probably lost the person that I was going to take. Um, but it benefits me. Yeah, they lost Kyle. Oh, no, man. I don't know. Honestly, going into week two, I got to redo my own depth chart. It might be difficult for me to not take Justin Reed or Nick Cross. Two very good users. He actually, or Rashawn Gary actually, though. Hmm. Oh, 
Okay. We'll cross that bridge if and when we get to it. When I look at his team, though, strategy-wise, I'm not amazed with his receivers. And as crazy as it is, and as crazy it is to say, I think I could do a very similar game plan game, too. I honestly think I can just play man against people. That's why I drafted the team the way I did. And I want to be stacked before I got to go up against some of these giants. Lamar Jackson gets an upgrade, which is awesome. Um, going to go plus one scrambler. With Mr. Lamarvelous, you already know what it is. Plus one throw power for him, uh, getting him up to 95 throw power. And just like I said, the more upgrades, once I get throwing abilities on him, it gets even scarier. Isaiah Simmons, like he's the one. I just don't want to not have him in the lineup. He's so fast. And I just got plus one. He's 94 speed. How many people at that position? And this was CPU. Oh, I love this game. Okay. I got to read you the whole depth chart um, because we got Aaron Donald. But welcome, Aaron Donald. Let's do the depth chart. We'll see you guys soon. Let's say week 15, 16, somewhere in that neighborhood. Isaiah likely showing up. Bro, I'm selling. Back to throw. Here's Richardson. Yep, got him. Aaron Donalds. Who else? Fourth and ten. Play action. Now Jackson. Yep. Simple. This is the battle of the lack of freaking offense. My God, I don't think I've ever seen this little offense in a game in my life. Al Lazard clutches up for us. Time out. Lamar. Yep. Dude, too much fight going on right now. Oh my gosh. Too much fight. Is he backed off on Lazard or is that press? That's backed off. That means that's a, that's a touchdown. Lazor to Lazard. Beautiful. Now it's Richardson. Bag. On first down, Richardson. Flush to his right. And that's into the hands of now Richardson back to throw it. Steps away. Give me that. Give me that! Knew that was coming. Get up, Theo. Get up, Theo. Okay. Score. Get seven. Let's keep Lamar for another day, man. I'm not ready to lose him yet. Thank you, Rank. Come back. Oh, dumb move. Back corner of the end zone. Lamar Bean. We're figuring it out. We're figuring it slowly, but surely we're figuring this thing out. Okay, one more stop. This is GG's, and then we figure out who we're taking. Richardson on fourth down. He's got his tight end. That's Smith. They take a lot of pride in covering. Okay. That should at minimum take us to the two. Bag. Give me that. Yeah. Hit a clip. No. Okay. GG's, fellas. Hey, best defense in the league right now. I don't even think you could say it's remotely close. We got Aaron Donald, two superstar uh, DBs, and Eric Stokes. This is dominant. So as of right now, I feel very, very happy with my draft, my draft strategy, um, and everything we did. This should be GG's, and then we got we got to go figure out who we're taking from the guy. Okay, two games to start. Have not. I know we have a lot of tough comp. Com that guy's I think beat me before. So. His team was really, really, really bad. And um, now that he's 0 2, it's going to get even worse. As far as strategically who to take here, so his best players are Gary, Eckler, Cordero Patterson. Just like if we're trying to stack superstars, we get a Cordero Patterson. Um,
I just don't know. I at some point I need a user, and I love Justin Reed. Oh gosh, I love Eckler too. I just don't need Eckler because I of who I got at that position. Surprisingly to you guys, surprisingly a little bit to me, I'm gonna like trade for Justin Reed because I do want to make this defense better. I want to get faster on this defense. Theo Jackson's good. He's not amazing. Um, so we're going to steal Justin Reed from him, which is, I feel like probably one of the more productive people we could take. We got the Packers next week. See you guys then. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, boom. A new player is, uh, just right through two weeks. I would say I have, I've honestly had the luxury of being able to play really just stupid football. Like I'm literally just playing as simple as can be. Um, Plus one speed for Justin Reed the day he gets here. 94 speed user. He's such a good user. I know there were superstars there, but like I, I on offense, I, I want to try and take. If I win this, um, and this is going to be a tough game. This is against MEQ Tyler. Always, always, always a tough out. Um, if I win this game, I think I would take Kyler Murray from him and have the perfect QB duo. Um, this is kind of the one that I, I would want the most. Kyler Murray would be like the perfect insurance that if in week 10 I lose Lamar Jackson. People think it's crazy to try and carry two quarterbacks in this. Week 10, right before the playoffs, you lose and you got no quarterback. Who's laughing? Uh, everyone is laughing at you when I show up with Bailey Zappi to play against these other super teams. So this game is big for a lot of reasons because I want to take Kyler Murray. I want the insurance. I want the superstar. There's a lot of other players on this team that are good. Don't get me wrong. He, he has a lot of really, really, really... I'd love to take Javon Holland. But to me, I'd love to take Khalil Mack. To me, this is 100% the insurance game. Let's go steal Kyler Murray from him and go to 3-0. Looking to throw again on second down. Murray. I don't know where you guys are from, but where I'm from... That, that was a box. Just no pressure at all. Mm. Now Murray. Touchdown, okay, no comment, no comment. They're going on fourth down. It's Jackson. Beam. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for doing what Chris Olave could not. Hang on to the freaking football. Well done. Beam. Chris Olave, dude. I, I think I gotta take Deontay. Before I go for the insurance, bro, I think I gotta get some, I gotta get a policy, bro. I, I haven't even been quoted for a policy. Bang! But I before I start looking for insurance at QB, I should probably be able to have a receiver with ability. Cause it's about to get dark. But I do want to take I know I'm gonna take I'm gonna take Kyler. If I win. If I win, I'm taking Kyle. Nice user, Brett. Let me know when you take your mittens off. And why don't, why don't you take your mittens off and then we can play? You know? Freaking, like, it's like I got six thumbs sometimes. Thing about MEQ is he's... It's just about knowing your opponent. I know he's not nearly as comfortable in this offense as he in this defense as others. So as soon as he comes out in this defense, you better believe. You better believe with all your heart up top. Oh, love it! As soon as he comes out in three three five, I'm gonna I'm gonna hurry it up. Go Lamar. Just bad reads. Oh my gosh, just bad reads as a whole. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. Now he'll let it go deep left side. And that's caught. Hit. Murray now. And he's got it. It's caught. We still got time, and I do feel like I can stop him. But I did not love anything about that. And it would be sucked. Like I said, the last two times I've played him, I beat him by like 21 or more. Um, 
and then in a game like this to lose would sting. I'm not gonna lie, this would sting a little bit. If he takes Lamar, who's to say he doesn't have the last laugh for our last three outings? I'm not going to be the one to say he doesn't. Oh, okay. Don't use a timeout, though, Brett. That's all I'm going to ask of myself. Don't use a timeout. Play this smart. Play this intent. It's a little DB on the left. I don't even think there is a DB on the left. If the safety is matching, we're going to throw it up. If, he's, if he does that again, I'm going to do the same thing. If he does that same thing with the safety, I'm going to do the exact same. He's, he's manning up the safety on him, thinking it's sweet. That safety is like five foot two. Get mossed. Okay. Boom. Get a stop, Brett. Get a stop. Get a stop. Get a stop. We can. I know I can. Oh, my gosh. Once again, it's Mostert. Donald, you're the worst player I've ever seen. The best case. Very interesting, but good call. Dang. GG's. Very interesting, but I did, he did audible to 14 different formations. I thought he was just trolling. Okay, guys, this is going to test us. This is, um, I have never lost in the first three weeks. And I can honestly say I lost 100% because of me. There was, there's nothing else. I, I just played horrible. Um, I couldn't get off the field. On offense, two touchdowns to the one interception. The one interception killed us. We lose Lamar, but we're going to have a chance to get another quarter. Damn, man. Oh, see, this is why I wanted to take Justin Fields. And I think our opponent next week is really tough as well. Like I said, this is the interesting thing about these franchises. Oh, I just felt like he had all day in the pocket all game. I could not get an ounce or a second of pressure on the kid, which was driving me crazy. Um, we got the Chiefs next week, um, the one-on-one -on -one Chiefs. I don't know who the Chiefs QB is. I don't know where he drafted. I have no sweet clue about any of that. Um, the Chiefs have Deshaun Watson, Jonathan Taylor, Jamison. Well, the Chiefs have options that would help out the team. As far as us, um, and he might actually, you know, he might not take Lamar. Yeah, he wants Lamar. I was about to say. I was like, he might not take Lamar, but he should have. I actually don't mind that. My defense is all completely intact. I'm fine. I'm completely, totally fine. If this is fine, I am okay. Everything, my hair looks good. It does not. I'm fine. It's like Ross on Friends. This is fine. Bailey Zappi is our quarterback. Go win some games for us, Bailey. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boom, zap. Zap. Who needs Lamar? Who needs him? I don't need him. Tell me why, give me one reason why this guy's worse than Lamar. And you can't say throw power, speed, and accuracy. Or trekking. You can't say a stab, but give me a reason. You don't have a reason. You know what I like about Bailey Zapp? He values financials. And he prefers a warm weather state. Tampa. Zapp. And he's only got a 3,000 XP bar. Lamar had a seven. This is great. Sunshine, man. I could also go Will Greer. I could go Kyle Slaughter. Dude, 6'5", 218, 83 throw power. Okay, so as far as how things are going, this is fine. This is totally fine. Um, we just lost the quarterback that I did not plan on losing before getting any insurance. Now, as far as the team we're playing, Watson's on that squad, Taylor. If I win this, I'm taking Jamo. I can I can zap for a bit, but I, I want Jamison Williams really, really bad. So we're going to do everything we can to win and take Jamo. Looking to throw right away is Watson. Uh oh, oh, that's a. I'm saying that's a box though. My defense, what my offense lacks, my defense can definitely make up for. Is what I'm trying to like. I know against MEQ there was like 14 like long developing like plays where he somehow had time. I do not plan on letting that happen here. We just gotta like. Play short here, J-Mo. Like, if I were to give you guys how I plan on stopping this, 
I would say just Jamison Williams. That would be my only word. I think that's the only person that he cares to throw the ball to. So every single play, I'm going to spotlight Jamison Williams. I'm going to put superstars on the other players because J-Mo will beat everybody else, so it doesn't really, he doesn't need a superstar on him. Escaping the pressure right. Good defense. Okay, fourth down. You gotta take three. Good drive by him. He's not going to take three. Let's just use our JMO and blitz the whole team. I know he's looking Jameson here. I'm just gonna blitz the entire squad. And then I'm just gonna use our Jameson Williams with Nelson. And you just get absolutely mocked. What cut? Oh my god. You just got to tackle. Oh, thank gosh. Absolute whiff of a tackle. We close flex. Can this be a fullback guy? Does he have a running back there? Or a receiver? Or... Smart, smart. 10 out of 10, smart. I ran command. I didn't think there was a chance he was passing that ball. Yeah, zappy. Zap! Nice. Settle in. Just start running. Start running some of this. That's such a dog by Bailey Zappi. Three quarterbacks in the NFL have attempted that throw. Two of them we can't even talk about anymore due to legal reasons. Bailey Zappi. Bailey Zappi. Uh, ba Bailey's happy. Bailey's happy. Brett is happy. If Bailey's happy, Brett is happy. You want to press him? I don't impress him me much. Yes, it does. Laser. Big play. Got him. Up top. Zap. Zappy now on first and ten. Zap. Nice catch. I'm just gonna probably look here. It's, it's gotta be a laser. And it is. That's exactly what it is from Bailey Zappy. It is a laser. 15 seconds left. Okay. Sorry, I'm eating munchy mix. I'm starving. Sorry, I'm starving. I know, this is unprofessional. But I am so hungry. Not even funny. Go up top to Olave here. Chenault, up top. They said, dude, the team. The team is rallying around this guy. The team is rallying around him. And you can just tell. On first down, here's Zappy. That's a beam. Zap! To the one. Oh, he's blitzing, blitzing. Isaiah likely open. Okay, munchy mix, ma'am. So good. I was waiting for that one. And still got touched. That's a bag, fell. Pride! Oh, take some pride in your game, man. Okay, block it, Stokes. Okay, 318. I have to get seven. I want to go up top to Olave. I have not ran this yet. Zap! Zap! Good dot. Zach Pascal, laser. Said score with. I don't know if I'm ready to take a risk here, but I wouldn't mind trying to score on one play if it's if it's the right risk. I think you see how he's just zoning out that guy on the left. 
That tells me one thing. I feel like that tells me that I uh, late I'll have Lazard because I think he's in his zone. And I, that's exactly what it told me. He was in his zone. He was not manned up because of the movement. Zap. Okay. Watson now to throw. Escaping the pressure right. Look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Zappy. Back corner it. No, that's not good. He's killing too much time. Like, I see people do this all the time. He he does not realize he only has two timeouts. I think he's killing more time. He tried to take all the clock away, but like... Be a run. Desperation time. Watson on fourth down. Flush to his right. And it's incomplete. He has two timeouts. I can just run this. Once again, it's swift. And a nice job there. He's got two timeouts. We can just run it out. Guys, hey. Save the season. Let me just say, say what I've said it from the beginning. Let's save the season. I knew I just needed to buckle up and I could win. And Bailey Zappi is filthy. I just want to say that. Bang, fellas! Bailey Zapp. Zapp, and I'm stealing Jameson. His prized bull. I am taking Jameson Williams so fast. His head's about to... I need that. Zappi was good enough. I don't need a quarterback. Uh, we have a really tough opponent. Holy, they're simming the league. They're waiting on our game. Ooh, okay, I got to execute this trade here real quick. Um, but, oh my goodness, dude. Okay, this game, we're going up against, I got breakouts everywhere, which is awesome. First thing before we get into all that, we got to go and figure out who I'm taking from the Chiefs. And I think it's a no-brainer. I need someone to stretch the field. I think he's like one of the best players in the game. Page, Agent, Jameson, welcome to the squad. We're getting Jameson Williams and we get to play the Atlanta. When he accepts it, I'll be back. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is, this is huge. Honestly, I think we got a breakout that week with, um, this game is absolutely everything. We're playing against um, a guy who's beaten me before. I would say I've beaten him more than he's beaten me, but he's definitely a tough out. This is going to be very difficult. He's got Aaron Rodgers. Now, I don't want, I, I love Zappy, bro. I think if I won... I would have to probably steal Aaron, and we'll look into that. Um, the Brit, did I just, bro? My brain is stupid. That was Chris Olave, right? Yeah, that was Chris Olave. I believe that was Chris Olave's breakout. Plus one speed, he just got. I could potentially get a 94 speed, 95 excel, um, superstar to pair with Jamison Williams, which would be disgusting. I should probably go back and double check that. But no matter what, the only one that is super important is Olave, and he did have a crazy game last week. Um, but let's take a deep dive and look at the Atlanta roster just to see exactly what we're going up against. Like I said, divisional rival, Atlanta. Miles Garrett, Jalen Ramsey, Buda Baker, Gilly Locke. I would say... Hmm, probably take Miles Garrett. Or Jalen. I don't, I just don't feel like right now I need Aaron Rodgers. As crazy as that sounds. Guys, divisional game. Shut him up. Sign the check. Huge break point in the season. Let's go. Malave, I need you to get out of here, man. I need you to get out of here. One block. Yes, sir. Good job, Olave. Got him. Go, Allen. Allen Lazard. Oh, I prefer that. I prefer that. Booty big. I'll see myself out. Got him. Yep. Safety. Got him. Perfect time to throw a pick. See, even when you think Bailey Zappi is just chilling, he's never just chilling. Yep. Good job, Olave. He's got a rifle on the He rifles one that's intercepted. 
Picked off by Jalen Ramsey. And the Falcons. Now a play fake. Rodgers. Taking a deep shot here for Hardman. And that is caught. It's my Star Wars The Last Hope. Heidi's barking. Everyone's freaking out. I'm throwing it up to Jameson. He's airing it out for Williams. And he's the GOAT. Thank you, Jameson. Thank you. The slot man in motion right. Good job, Lazard. That's a beam. I knew he wasn't expecting that. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last round. And the pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Jalen Ramsey. Worst game of my life. The first half that really has not been kind to them. A late opportunity here to maybe make some inroads on the Good job, Lazard. Looking to throw again on second down. Zappi. Feed Olave. Beam. They'll try it now. Good job. Okay. That helps gave up the score. From the 29, Rodgers. This pass complete to Pollard on the out route. And they'll get it up. Throwing is Rodgers on third down. And the catch made mm. by John. Play action. Now Rogers. I'm on that. I'm literally waiting for it. Come on, Olave. If you're the one who could get superstar, I need you to be a superstar. The nice thing is someone might just take Jameson, and I can live with Jameson. Zap. Oh, 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 dude, I am, I am T-Sap. Oh, no, I'm not T-Sap. Okay, who is the Steelers? Who is the Steelers? My hair is my attitude. My hair is my skills right now. My hair is my skills. And I got to, okay, I have to take someone from the Steelers. Like, I, I have no choice. I need to, oh, I have a trade pending. Who do you want, Jameson? Let me guess, Jameson Williams. Oh, oh! Honestly, if I keep Jameson, it's not the end of the world. Okay, we keep the fight goes on, man. It has been one of those. I've never played worse than that game. That game was the worst game of my life. Ooh, we got some players that I would want on this team. A lot of them, like. I would gladly take Jamar Chase, and I would gladly take Jamar Derwin. Okay, show goes on. I don't know, man. Just fighting it right now. We're fighting it. Ooh, ladies and gentlemen, week six. Um, holy doly. Yesterday was a movie, but not a good one. Like a comedy, more than a. Not like a. And not even a good comedy. Like, just a... Why are my ears still... I showered, but my ears are so... Blah. Okay. We gotta be better today. Um, I got a chance to take some from the Steelers, which I can't underestimate how big of an opportunity this is. Last game, total sell. I've never played worse in my life. Uh, I don't even want to talk about it. But he did leave us Jameson. Jamar Chase, Cortland Sutton uh, on this team. If I can win this game... Like I said, that last one, they stole my DB. They stole Big Play Slay, which was harsh. But they left me with Jamison Williams, which surprised me. Um, I think I need to switch offenses and run the Jamison Williams offense that I ran in the um, Lions franchise. Bailey Zappi is not a read option quarterback, so I need to stop making him one. Um, I got to switch offenses, run that, utilize the speed that we have on this team because we do have... Um, Chris Olave, Schwartz, and um, Jamison Williams. We have three really good receivers on this squad, so I feel like I definitely need to utilize that more than I have been. And I think me not doing that has been a big reason for our issues. Bailey Zappi, you already know what it is. Scrambler upgrade, sign the check, 66 overall. Let's hope for a plus eight throw power. Plus 14 throw power, get him to 90. No, okay, so if I win this game, I think the most logical might be Derwin James. But I also don't know. Um, I'd consider, I'm going to switch offenses though, like I said. I don't want Mac Jones. I would say Jamar Chase might be the best player. And I do need a superstar receiver. So I'm not opposed to taking Jamar Chase for him. But then also Derwin James is just sitting there. As far as our depth chart, Jameson, uh, Chris Olave, and Schwartz. And then I'm going to use Lazard in kind of like a when I need him role. 
Um, but yeah, ladies and gentlemen, with that being said, let's dance. Let's get our swagger back. Let's go. I don't know if he knows about Jameson here. Like, can Jameson not outrun that safety? No, he really can't. That's all right. Go to Allen. Good job, Bizarre. Yep, Isaiah likely my favorite player. Well done. Oh, three for three. Like I said, in, other than last game, I have been dominant with Bailey Zappi. Other than last game. Last game was a huge, huge disaster. There we go, Swift. Yep. Simple. Simple drive. Let's get Jamar Chase. Let's get our swagger back. And let's just go win six straight games. We will be ready for the playoffs. If I can just... I've had a little bit of adversity here. This has been far from perfect. We're going to battle some super teams. That Atlanta team is about to be disgusting. But we fight. 7-0. I'm on that. Give me that. Good defense, Brett. Followed that the whole way. Thank you, Reed. I'm so... Did you guys watch that? He put him on... The, as soon as I see that route, I know that's a route that's going to burn the coverage that I have over there. I did not expect that route. I sprint over, and we grab it. Okay. Get seven here. Get seven, get seven, get seven. No, no. Oh, no. Go Swift. Go Swift. Okay, let's kill Clock a little bit. Let's make him uh, think at least. I just don't want to give him a full, like, the offense that he runs, everybody knows, is like PA shot teams, but that's not, that's that's a pretty high octane offense. Like, that's an offense that you can score in 20 seconds, which is why I'm trying to take a little bit of the clock away from him because he gets ball at half. And if I can get this seven and him not have another chance, our chances are very good here. Alan Lazard. Yes, sir. Don't mind if I do. See if he uses his timeout. That was a little dumb. Oh, see, that's called... That's the part of my life that I like to call being an idiot. Dumb. Like, I, I, I let the clock run too much. I was banking on scoring on that play, and then when I don't, I put myself in this horrible situation. But it's not so bad. Pretty bad. So we have reached halftime. Leave that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they got some time. The running game, same thing. They're so fundamentally sound, it's hard to execute against them. Got an open man. On fourth down. Jones. And he'll find Washington. That's good. They'll look to throw on third and goal. Come here. 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 Okay. Now he's got to think. He might go for this. He honestly probably. Now he's taking three. See that? That's defense. Because now I have a few different options here. He's got to get us off the field. Four minutes, I could potentially try and, like, I think I'm going to try and just get in field goal range early and then run the ball a lot. That would be my best idea because he's to take to, mm, I would have probably went for this, but I'm also crazy, but I think I would have. Got him, Lazard. Zappy, Zappy, what a beam, Zap! Play fake, and now here's Zappy. Likely, stay in bounds. Third down, here's Zappy. Lazard, Lazard! Oh, dude, you just lost your job. 
Keep him in bounds, that's fine. Crossbound the tight end. Play this corner row. He's gonna rifle one deep left side. And this will be caught. To throw is Jones. Got him. Bang! Lucas Van Ness. Holy moly. That was more stressful than I wanted it to be. That was miserable. Okay. Get the onside, trade for Jamar Chase, turn the season. With Jamar Chase, Jamison, Olave, and Lazard, I, I can be anything I want to be. I honestly feel like I can be anything I want to be. Look at this guy. Eleven seconds left. Victory formation. Um, GG's in the chat. Okay. As I mentioned, we're taking Jamar Chase. Bailey Zappi, um, just getting myself a superstar receiver just opens up the offense a lot, allows me to do a lot different of things. Um, it'll just help a ton. And Jamar Chase, it's in between him and Derwin James. Obviously, it all depends on who I play next week. Let's actually look at next week. Because next week I play the Panthers, where if I'm banking on potentially beating the Panthers... Let's look at the Panthers roster first and see what they have because if they have certain areas that I feel that, like if they have a receiver and not a good DB, they have St. Brown and they have nothing else. They're super freaking broke. I'm gonna take, uh, I'm gonna take DJ. I'm gonna take DJ and I'm gonna, build, I'm gonna keep building up this defense. Just because next week, I think I can take St. Brown if I win. That team's not great. I think I can win and take St. Brown. So if I get St. Brown, I get my ability receiver and I get there. If I take Jamar here, for example, um, if I take Jamar this week, then next week, I don't need St. Brown. There's nobody that I want. I can get Derwin James, who's unreal, 6'2", 215, beast. Um from them and be very happy about it. And we can continue to build our defense going into week seven and eight. Okay. Whew. Show goes on. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we got, whew, we got four tough weeks. Um, coming up here, starting with this four and two squad. Um, as far as QB, they got Jim, they don't have a quarterback either. So we are not going to be stealing anyone's quarterback. Like I said, I, I am kind of aware of that in these leagues, bro. That's why early when I took Justin Reed, I should have potentially taken Justin Fields, but Hey, Bailey Zappi is what it is. Um, if I were to win this game, I think it's quite obvious who I would want. Um, I want to steal Amonra St. Brown. And I want to create like that Jameson, Amonra, Olave, Schwartz. I just, oh, it's a lot of cooks in the kitchen. But either way, guys, let's just uh, let's just go get a duck. Check seams here. I feel like he's going to try and go seams. Exactly what he did. Like, he's quite exactly what I said he would do. I said he was going to go soon. Oh, Paging Agent J... Agent Jameson, holy moly, I love you, eight. What a catch. Come on, Olave. Dude, what freaking player he is. Saints fans, how did he do this year? Like, was is he as good as I think that he can be? I don't know. He was one of the players that I wanted, obviously, the time, like, Titans draft. But, like, how was he this year, Saints fans? Please answer in the comments below because he's one of my favorites. Bang! Ola! Vang! Ola Vang! Got him. Sit him down, please. I don't know what he's going to do here. Well, I actually do. I'm going to man up that guy. Yeah. Derwin! The next adjustment. First book dropping May 7th at all your major indigo outlets. Hand this off. Hand that off. Yep. Okay, look for Olave or Paging Agent Jameson. Oh, 
he was playing a huge zone on the left, expecting me to clear out with Jameson. Like, to clear out the corner row, but I knew that it was more of a zone on that side. Um, like it was, I knew it was 25-yard Tampa 2 zones, so I was like, I'm just going to put him on a crosser. Because I knew the other side was manned up. I, I was like, I don't think there's anyone on Jameson. That's my thought process. You can believe me or not, but I that was smarter than you may give me credit for. Okay, defense. One more stop. We might be able to leave this with a win. And it's a phone. Could potentially tie this game up. And that's caught inside the 35. Touchdown, Carolina. This is one on one on the left. How do you bench him? Like, how do you tell Alan Lazard tomorrow that he doesn't have a job? Stokes. Go Swift. First down, and they go with Swift again. And he's brought he carries as he has, but it might play out. And he's in. Touchdown. Good stuff. Now Garoppolo got to have this one. This is intercepted. Dance on him. Dance on him. Dance on him while you take his player. Dance on him. Hey, no, I need to be, I need to be nicer. GG's, fellas. GG's. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, now the decision. Like I said, him getting Dallas Goddard to superstar um, changed everything. It really, because Dallas, what's his vertical threat? Like, yeah, duh. Easily trading for Dallas Goddard. That is the biggest no brainer. That adds so much to our offense and allows me to keep my receivers how they were. Um, we earned that one. We ran the ball a lot. I played that game as smart as I possibly could. Um, trade accepted. Um, okay. Trade accepted by the Panthers already. So we now have Dallas Goddard. So with that, I can keep the receivers. But Dallas Goddard's the new head of the kind of like this room with Road Tech and Road, Road Apprentice. It makes them really, really, really elite. Him getting him a superstar, 10 out of 10. Now the Ravens are a tough out, bro. I've played this guy before. I know he's good. Um, no quarterback. Najee. Oh. 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 Let's go. Okay. I want Micah. I want Micah Parsons. <laughs> Boom, ladies and gentlemen. This is a big one. This is uh, this is break point. This is break point. Um, we're either leaving here with Justin Jefferson and Micah Parsons, or we're leaving here without Jamison Williams. Would be my guess. Um, we gotta play smart. We gotta play great. I this guy's good. I've played him before. Um, we, me and him always have good games. I now have Dallas Goddard, which I feel like is gonna open up the offense for Bailey Zappi a lot, um, and just allow me to continue plus one speed for Swift. Gotta run the ball more than I have been. Um, but I do want to key in on Zappy's stats. The craziest thing is about his... No, I do not want to quit the league. Okay, so the one thing I wanted to key in on here was uh, my stats with Bailey Zappy. If you take away the four picks in the one game, we're 9-1. and one. If you take away the one game, he's actually been really good. Lazard, our leading receiver. Um, defensively, nothing too crazy. But, like I said, this game, if we win, we can steal Justin Jefferson or Micah. And I need both of them. Let's get started. Come here. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you kindly. Thank you kindly. Go, Grant, do you want to just... Dang. Okay. Be smart here. Get seven, be smart. Oh, get... Roll... Oh, my gosh. Roller skates. 
Get out of there, Olave. Got him. Okay. 7 0. Defense, I would say he moved the ball all right um, until we got that pick. If we can just get another pick, keep it real simple. I'm not going to try and reinvent the wheel here by any means. I'm probably going to run a lot of similar adjustments to what I was doing um, and just cross our fingers for more picks. And then if we win, bro, we got two of the best players in the league to choose from. This is, oof, this is such a big one. Such a big game. Okay, we held him to three. Um, and we get ball at half. Mm. So that's good in some ways, not great in a lot of ways. Still mad that I didn't take three in the last drive. Still stupid. Put him on skates. Good job. Oh, okay, I will take three here, um, but I, I want seven. I want to just, I want to end this thing. That's that's how I'm feeling right now. I just want to end this. Bro. Oh my gosh. No, sir. Good defense, guys. Got him. GG's. You can see yourself out, bud. But uh, you can see yourself out, but uh, Justin Jefferson. Bang! Let's go. I think I think we might just... Do we steal Jettas? Do we want Jettas or do we want Micah, bro? It honestly all depends on who we play next game. Oh, who do I play next game? That's the million dollar question is it's like, <laughs> I'm trying to build this team and the Rams I know have barely lost this year. The Rams, what are the Rams? LA is four and two. Let me see who the Rams have um, because that's going to really determine what I do here. The Rams have Devontae, one sec. Okay, the Rams best player is Devontae Adams. And they have superstar Hollywood. They're loaded at receiver. But defensively, they're not very good. So you know what? We take Micah Parsons here. Yeah, I just defensively, they're absolutely loaded. So in this one, I feel like I'm going to keep building up the defense and take the best defensive player in the league to rush the passer for us. Uh, and then next week, if we win, we can, but like there's you don't get a lot of opportunities to take someone like Micah Parsons. So I am gladly going to steal Micah Parsons from him. <laughs> Bang! What a win! I almost sold that. I almost sold that so bad. So 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 bad. My goodness. Um, trade accepted. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome Micah Parsons to the team. He's gonna help us a bunch. I promise you. That, that was a tough one to know what to do. Uh, my DB core is pretty weak, and I do need to start adding DBs. But now I, I have Micah and Aaron Donald. That duo is going to cause people some problems. Um, um, I'll probably go pass command with him and consider running. But like I said, anytime you can get Micah Parsons, I value defense a little bit more than I value offense. So... We got the Seahawks and the Rams next. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boom! 5-2 and two versus 6-2. and two. Breakout. Richie Grove. Coach Watson from the other day. Man, the second year is really the best game. Other game, I feel like I arrived. Okay. Richie Grant could potentially go up to start up. Guys, we're playing against the Rams. 
Holy moly. Um, this one, this is a big game. Um, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. This is, uh, I would take any of his receivers. Love his quarterback. But honestly, this is kind of, he's got D-Hop up to superstar, which I love, actually. And DeAndre, oh, and Devontae. This is this is the receiver game, bro. We just got to lock in. Send AB. I might even take Caleb Farley. I don't know yet. Let's go. They're going on fourth down. Here's Eason. Being chased out left. Going Richie Grant. Yeah, Olave or Alan Lazard, dude. Maybe I'll take Caleb Farley. I, uh, oh. you got, no, I'll probably take Hollywood. Hollywood or Devontae, like, Hollywood being superstar is, like, the mix of the three. That could be deadly, deadly, deadly. Zappy. a really solid example of throw power. Sets to throw it. He'll buy some time right. That would into the hands of Eason. Come here. Yep, there it is. Aaron Donald, Michael Parsons. He's got to take three here. Okay, offensively, I, I still feel like I can move the ball. We get ball at half. We're definitely not out of this. Um, we're definitely not out of it, but just can't throw that deep ball. That's a beam, though. That is an absolute beam. Good throw. Got him. There it is. Okay. Give him a minute or so to make a mistake. That's, that's Justin Reed. What I say, give him time, man. People will do something stupid. Rule of life. Good defense. Time out. Okay. It's a beam, Bailey. That is a beam. That is oof, 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 oof. That's called the Bailey wants another receiver on this lineup, on this team. That was a thing to behold there. And from where we said, if you had told me that that ball was somehow going to get from point A to point B. Beam. Okay, one stop. I don't feel like his offense is that great. I feel like I he's gotten bailed out of jail 14 times. And I want Hollywood Brown or Devontae. One of those three. <laughs> Come on. Give me that. Thank you. Give me that. Thank you. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Okay. Come here. Micah Parsons. Oh, the whole squad. Oh my gosh, this is terrifying. This is terrifying. Slant. Oh, wow. That is terrifying. My whole team, all my X Factors are lit up on this play. Just wait. Got him, bags. Donald and Micah, the duo, and bye bye bye. Let's go. Huge dub. Okay, I think honestly, guys, I want to keep Lazard as my big receiver. I think I want to just go crazy. The thing is, everyone has one step ahead, so Devonte is going to be neutralized. But like someone like Hollywood Brown does not get neutralized. Um, he's a high overall. He's made him superstar. He's an eighty-seven. Uh, with 97 speed, gets all the abilities, the route abilities. I'm going to steal Hollywood. Controversial as that is, I think he adds something different that I don't have with anybody else. Guys, Hollywood Brown and Jamison Williams with Lazard is disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting. And the trade has been accepted. Okay.
bre- as far as the breakout player, I don't think we got the Seahawks. I'm just hoping. Um, shout out to freaking Richie Grant, goat. Uh, I'm just hoping that the Seahawks has a QB. What's the Seahawks record? Six and two. So we have another game here against the Seahawks that should potentially give us. I just want a quarterback, dude. Bro, finding quarterbacks is like pulling teeth around here. And DBs, there's no DBs and there's no corners right now. Like, it, it's just, like I said, this is why I always draft receivers. There's just nothing. Hey, with that, we now have Jamison Williams, superstar. J- or Jamison Williams, we have a superstar now in Hollywood, which is crucial. I've been waiting for a superstar. With Route Apprentice and Short in. He gets all the same abilities as the other guys, but he's 97 speed. We have these two and him and then Lazard kind of coming in. We, we could run like a track team with 97, 98, and 96. Overall, Bailey Zappi has been everything we need to be. And Bailey Zappi, I don't know who the who do the Browns have. Cleveland. Like, let's let's go to Cleveland. Because guys, we might be going into the playoffs with Bailey Zappi. I just don't I don't see another quarterback. When you lose your quarterback, it's not good. No, dude. It's, it's a hurting unit out here. Okay. See you guys for Seahawks week. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boom! Week 10. We got this game, the Browns week, and the Saints week left. Three games left. Now, this one is a weird one. 7-2 versus 7-2. It's, uh, it's going to be a battle. Um, honestly, he's got a really good team. But, like, not anything that I really like. <sighs> he's got Quez, which would be disgusting. Gino, I don't want Gino. I was hoping for some DBs, and I like Newsom. I do, and I like. I don't want to have to make that decision, but at some point before the playoffs, guys, like I am going to have to start making these weird decisions that don't really make sense. Of like, oh, I currently don't have a DB on my roster. I I got Slay taken from me, which I took that personal, by the way. I currently am really weak at DB. I could use some more speed. It's not a flashy move. But if I want to, like, look at my Richie Grant. There's decisions that are going to have to be made, and I don't really know how to make them. But, honestly, that's neither here nor there. Essentially, I have to win this game to make it matter. Get our swagger back. Woo! We got upgrades upon upgrades upon upgrades. What do we want with Hollywood? Route Apprentice and Short in. I'm very happy with that. Let's just go deep throughout. He has all the abilities. Like I said, it was difficult for me not to take Hollywood because he was the fastest guy on the team. Um... So that made it really hard to not be like, it kind of was a no-brainer um, for me to take him. Like, it just, it felt obvious. Even though, like, Devontae and D-Hop, they're just too similar to Lazard. And I felt like I could get maybe a little bit, like, I just feel like this is a little bit tougher to stop. I feel like the average Madden player would want to see this less. Like, you got to deal with 97 and 98 speed, and there's an offense that I know... Um, that I run that I know can be really, really, really good with like that particular set of skills. Isaiah Simmons is up to a 94 speed. He, he must have got a plus. Two. He's just this team. I just love this team, bro, so much. Like, if we could just get a QB and fix our like, that's why I'm like, I don't really want Cooper Cup as much as I love Cup. I don't know what to do. Okay, let's just win. Win first, think second. Troy Pride got a lot of pro- oh my gosh. This is what's going to get us through these weeks. This is what's going to get us wins. I, I'm just too slow on that. That's a bag, fellas. They literally do not like- Okay, I am starting a petition. Let linebackers jump. Like- I want to use Isaiah Simmons because he's 94 speed and he's a great user in this game. I literally can't jump. I can't do any. I can't. You can't intercept a ball with a linebacker. Why? Why just have a whole position suck? Like, my brain cannot handle that. That's a box, by the way. I just don't understand why a whole position has to suck. That's a beam. Dang. Bro. Steps away to his left. Now he'll let it that, I... Olave! Olave! 
Yep. Yeah. Feet. Nice throw. Bailey Zappy. Whoa, okay. I will take three here. And I'm boxed. Mad Max. Oh, Mad Max Fury Road. Okay, we do get the ball at half. Um, and I felt like I could have had a pick my first drive, so... Mm. Got to catch it for me, Dallas. Yes, sir. They're, with the two edge threats that he has, just like flying. This is absolutely tough sledding. And I think if we can get seven, we can win. But I don't know how easy that's going to be. Look at Zappy just staying in the pockets, though, man. Come on, Hollywood. Welcome to the team, Hollywood. Holy, dude, these lanes are just so tough right now. Go, Hollywood. Got him. Laser. That is a dot. Caught his user going with the crosser. That cross said his man coverage and his pass rush is absolutely miserable to go up against. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Fight goes on. Fight goes on. Holy. That's such a beam, Brett. That is, that's too much of a beam, Brett. Too much of a beam with money on the line. Season on the line. Money on my mind. Yep, throw it behind him. If his user wants to do, you want to cover both, you're not going to be able to cover either. Yo, Hollywood, you guys are laughing because you told me to take Devonte. I know the comment said, Brett, take Devonte," And I didn't listen, and now I'm paying the freaking price. And you're laughing. I know you're laughing at it. Fourth down, here's Zappi. Escaping the pressure run. Oh, he's, why would he pass here? Let him complete it. Well, don't let him complete it. Like, quite like that. Okay, we're losing somebody. GG's, dude. Oh, my goodness sakes. I don't know who he's going to take. I, I didn't feel like I played horrible, but I deserve to lose. I think Hollywood had two drops. Oh, gosh. Okay. We got two games after this to try and uh, get the team ready for the playoffs. We should be in the playoffs. Oh. Okay. We should be in the playoffs, but I don't know. I don't know how it's all going to work, but that was a tough L. That was a tough, 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 tough L against the Seahawks. Okay. We'll see you guys week 12. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, trade just came in. <laughs> Oh, I gotta stop losing. Who does he want? Oh. Paging. Agent. Jameson. Goodbye, Jameson. Oh, that's actually... It's actually not worst case Ontario. That's not worst case Ontario for us. It really isn't. Um, I can win with these three. I can win with those two. Guys, losing is so stupid. Losing should be eliminated... I just like freaking, ugh, that was a good game too, but it is what it is. Browns week, oh, okay, I'm going to I'm gonna have some chances in this next week to make the team a lot better. It's not over. Just get me the dance, I'll fight. I'll fight with Bailey Zappi. See you guys week 12. Let's go, boom, it's a new dawn, it's a new day, and I'm feeling good. Guys, goodbye, J-Mo. Um, we had a good run, but luckily the Browns, um, who are 2-8, just stole A.J. Brown. Um... 
However, I don't think A.J. Brown is who I would take from them. I think if I can pull this off, I want to take Jair Alexander. Um, we have two weeks left. We play this week, and then the Saints week is the final week of the season before we do the Super Sim to playoffs. If I'm even going to make playoffs, like if I'm even going to make it to the dance, i got to win this. There, There's no... Um, there's no discussion on that. Like, I, I have to win both these games. The Saints one's going to be really, really, really tough. It's a divisional one. Um, Micah Parsons gets an upgrade. Going to go power rusher with Micah Parsons. He goes up to a 96 overall. Um, edge threat and pass mid, obviously. You already know what it is. He's been really good with his, like, even though it's a weird ability that he has or a weird number that he has, it's kind of growing on me. 38, 17, 38. Then I say 17, 38 every single time. Um... But like I said, this team has Alec Jair Alexander, which would help out our secondary a ton. Um, their QB situation is bad. I'm not going to sugarcoat that. This is not a um, stellar QB team, Jacoby and Zach Wilson. Zach Wilson would actually be a bit of an upgrade. But the most interesting thing is next week, the Saints. Saints got Anthony Richardson and Patrick Mahomes. I would steal either of them. So if I can win, I can potentially go into the playoffs. But, like, I don't know. I kind of love Zach. I take Mahomes, obviously, but like, zap, zip, zap. I kind of love him. Like he, he's grown on me. But as I've said, we're seven and three. If we can end nine and three, I would say we have a hundred percent chance of making the playoffs. But I don't think our seed's gonna be great either way. Um, but just let's just. I just want to get into the playoffs with a better situation than what I have. Um, I'm really happy we got Hollywood because now like we have that speed. If I had I just lost JMO, we would have been really slow. Hollywood takes his spot, uh, and then Lazard comes back because he deserves to be back. Dallas Goddard's a beast, and then our defense is solid, bro. Derwin James, Lattimore, it's just our DB room that is really, 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 really weak. So imagine if I could add a Jair Alexander to this. <sighs> I think it would be huge. we got to lock in more than we've ever locked in for this week. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go. Bro. Nope. Some days you're living. Holy moly. Okay. Dallas got her. Well done, Dallas. Well done, daughter. Part of me just wants to go to the dance with Bailey. If I make it to the dance, I feel like it's only right that we're that we are going to that dance with the Zap man, dude. Part of me feels that way. Part of me doesn't. Part of me doesn't. Part of me does. 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 Oh, I think I got Alexander torched. I think I got Alexander and the no good, horrible, very bad day, laser. To Hollywood Brown. Who needs Jameson? To throw is Wilson. Way to make up for it, Nelson. I actually manually bumped that dude. I don't know if you guys saw that. I manually ran into AJ Brown pushing him off his route, which got us that situation. Okay, be smart, run the ball here. Be smart, be smart, be smart. Got her. Go Swift. Go Swift. Oh my gosh, Tariq Woolen. Hollywood. Zap. Holy, ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him in a box. Got him. Defense. Philosophy on this steal of player. Always steal defensive players. That's, that's my philosophy. 21-7. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Go, Devin. Go, Devin. There it is. Okay, yeah, this is this is huge right here. Up top Olave, well done. 
Oh, that's no longer... Woolen's no longer the guy on the left. Got him. And the Bucs are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. Okay. <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, that was a big time win, needed win. Um, but this is actually the toughest decision yet. Um, who to take? Do we continue to stack the defense? Or do we give a big help to the offense? Part of me thinks we take A.J. Brown here. I feel like I kind of need him. Because of our quarterback situation, I feel like A.J. would help me a lot. Mm, but I want... Oh, I want Alexander because I could play dollar like every play with... El I'm going Alexander. Regret it later, man. I'm a defensive guy. I'd rather lose with my defense. Uh, that's honestly, that's, that's how I play this game. That's how I'll always play this game. It's a, it is a tough decision to make. But I know how feared we would be with Alexander. Oh, regret it later. I don't think I will. Um, I, I don't believe I will regret it. I feel like our offense is what it is. Our defense can be dominant. Like, one, two, three, four, five. That's that's five of the best defensive players that I can think of. Adding Alexander, Lattimore, and Stokes and Pride playing in a dollar-type defense I think is disgusting and I think is going to give a lot of people a lot of issues. Um, I'm going to go inside shade and probably medium route knockout um, on Alexander. Like I said, we're I'm planning a lot of man coverage. So, especially with Micah. You guys see, Micah Parsons and Aaron Donald together are enough to make up for the fact that I have a 67 overall quarterback. Next week's the biggest game of the year against the Saints. Final game of the season. See you guys there. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I actually, I messed up. We do not have another game. This was 11 weeks. Um, for whatever reason, my brain was not processing the fact that I had already played 11 games. All 11 of my games are done. Um, so we can talk about it now. We do not get a chance to play the Saints. We were close. We were close. But like I said, they're 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. You only get to play 11 games in this. And we set it for a reason. A lot of these guys have quit uh, since, since playing. Uh, this league is really, really mentally draining for a lot of people. But so as of right now, we have the playoff picture. So we are simming currently to the playoffs. Um with where we're at now because this is the week that the playoff picture shows up so i am going to be playing i believe the commanders i don't get a chance at mahomes but that's okay because i have zap um and it makes that last decision that i made so much more interesting the decision to take the corner over and stack the defense i feel better about i'm actually i feel really 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 good about these receivers i love them all i love them all i really 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 do and I love Dallas Goddard. I'm going to change uh, Goddard's ability. But like I said, now we're about to do the Super Sim to the playoffs. I think through Steal a Player, we did pretty good. We won eight games. We lost three. Um, but in terms of like who we started with and who we stole, obviously losing Lamar was a big, 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 big thing here. But I believe that Zappi can get us through. I, I really, really, really do. Um, Derwin James, he's probably one of the favorite people that I stole. I could have taken a receiver a lot of these times. Justin Reed's been a great user for me. Um, Hollywood Brown, we stole. We started with Olave, stole Goddard, and then we stole Aaron Donald, and we also stole Micah Parsons, which were two very clutch steals. We lost big play Slay, but we gained Alexander. It was a wild year, but there's nobody that I want to go to the dance with more. I believe in them, bro. I believe in them. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. First playoff game. Bailey Zappi, bro. Bailey freaking Zappi. Let's go send eight. Be great. I'll see you guys once they sim to the playoffs. I just wanted to explain to you why there's no Saints game. Um, I've already played 11, and you only get to play 11, so. Ouch. Let's go, puppy, fellas. Playoffs. Like I said, the reason we do 11 weeks for this is because there's so many, there's so much turnover and just, like, angriness when team, and then some teams end up by, like, week eight, they have zero players. They're freaking starting their kicker. Our quarterback. So it's like 11 weeks. We all know how many games we have to create our team. And 
Guys, we're going up against the 14-3 Washington Commanders. Definitely not going to be an easy game um, in any way. We're going up against Josh Allen. Now, oh, where do I even begin? Josh Allen is terrifying. Straight up. I want, to, I want to be the first to say that. Josh Allen is absolutely terrifying. That's not who I want to see. Um, we got a ton of upgrades from the sim, so we're going to do these together kind of as we talk about it. Guys, this is all season. This has been an up and down. But there's one consistency. Consistency? Did I just... Is my brain just horrible right now? There's one consistency that I want to talk about. And that consistency, plus one speed with Alexander. I made the right choice. Is this Bailey Zappi. I, uh, I lost my quarterback early to MEQ. All at plus one, two, back to back plus one speeds. This is just working out perfectly. I lost my quarterback to MEQ. Um, and I hope, I really, 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 really hope, I hope more than anything, I get a chance at a little bit of poetic redemption against MEQ. Can you imagine the enjoyment I would get out of in the playoffs taking back my QB? Saying, shut him up, that's my quarterback. And then going and winning it with Lamar. Zappy as a awesome backup. But I probably, as much as I love Zappy, I probably, if I were to get Lamar back, I probably would have benched him. Now, the Commanders. Best thing about playing Commanders, I want to tell you guys what that is. If we win, we have a quarterback. If we lose, it's over. If we win, we get Josh Allen. I think that's about as simple is I can put this. If we win this game, we can take Josh Allen. They have a really, really, really tough roster, as you guys can see. Scary Terry, Jesse Bates, but the main event of this game is this guy, Josh Allen. 99 throw power. If I can pull this off and add Josh Allen to the squad, I think the sky is the limit with this team. I really, really, really do. But it's a matter of we got to lock in. Every playoff game is so stupidly important. If we win, maybe I'll take Scary Terry. Maybe I'll take Scary Terry and just be like, hey, you know what? Bailey, be great, bro. Be great. Maybe I'll say that. But the thing is that I think I can beat this guy with, it's just going to be defense. We just need stops. If we can't get stops, we're going to lose. I, I want to make that as clear as I possibly can. If I cannot get stops, I'm going to lose because this team is built to get stops. These four DBs, how I plan on playing this is these four DBs all playing together. Up top, we got Derwin James. I'm going to keep him at strong safety. On the right, I'm going to... Who should I put on the right? Um, I'm going to put Theo, I think. And then Simmons and Reed as the two users with Bush. And then at slot cornerbacks, I want Alexander. Um, and I want Lattimore. The one thing this team is so good against is the pass and pass rush and getting to the quarterback and those are the reasons why i think we can get through round one and if we can get through round one the sky's limit micah parsons um is gonna be playing there defensive tackle i'm probably gonna make hmm, i'll go lucas and then um obviously i want aaron donald and micah parsons rushing the quarterback that's that's the duo bro hey playoffs Choose today to be great, fellas. Let's go. Oh, let's dance, fellas. Let's dance. Yo, these freaking Washington unis, like, why are these the coldest uniforms I've ever seen in my life? Come here. Got him. Good defense, guys. Good defense. Got him. Give me that. Get that freaking guard. Can you get that garbage off my football field? Just please. Get that garbage off my football show. Okay. Be great, fellas. Hey, offensively, use the weapons that we have. We have good players. We have a really good tight end. Don't be afraid to run. I don't feel like I have to score 100 points to win this game. I believe in the defense. The defense just showed up in that first drive, made him look absolutely silly. Let's just zap and let's go win this game. There we go. Zappy. That is caught. It's the tight end Goddard. They will run straight ahead with Swift. Good job, Swift. Good job, Swift. Zappy 
Dallas got her. Well done. Slow it down. Run the ball. Bang! Come on, man. You got to believe it. Hey, let's steal Josh Allen and let's just win the bowl. Let's, let's steal Josh Allen and let's win the whole thing. Why not? Why not us? I got this headband on. Why not me? My stupidest purchase ever is on my head. Let's go. 7-0. Give me that. Get lurks, bro. Oh my. Is that the coldest? Am I just... Am I him today? That is one of my colder lurks. If not my coldest. Yep. Dallas got her. Stay up. Stay up. Way to go, Dallas. Yo, look at that. You could drive a car. You could. Some, you could drive your car. But I'm saying you could have... That was great blocking. I'm going to take a little bit of the clock. Just because I'm selfish. I'm selfish and I want to win. I'm going to run the opposite way that he thinks. As soon as I motion him out there, he's going to expect. That's fine. Zappy. Zap. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves Good. Yo, look at the man on man right now. That's cold hearted. That was cold hearted what we just did right there. My goodness. Eric Stokes taking away that route like it was nothing. Now we can get a clean rush. I'm so on that. Bro! Oh my gosh, I put someone on that. That's not even funny. I'm not laughing. Nobody's laughing right now. Oh my gosh, that is ridiculous. And he boxed. Oh, Zappy. Okay, he used his timeouts wisely. He got to us. He forced a punt. I can't say I can't say that he did anything wrong there. He honestly did everything right. Thank you. Give me those! Oh my gosh! Clip that kick! Clip that kick! My gosh! Perfect, perfect. On um, that was the best kick I've ever had. Okay. Honestly, just run clock and be smart here, Brett. The only way you're losing this game is if you lose this game. You've already won it. Don't lose it. What a catch. What a catch by Hollywood. Every single play, I'm taking 40 seconds, dude. You think I'm going to risk losing a playoff game? Because, no. I, every single play, I'm taking 40 seconds. That's football. Three-score leads. We don't, we don't blow three-score leads. The high IQ moves here. I'm going to ID that guy because whenever people ID, that means they're running. First down. Just stay ahead of the chains. <sighs> Lasers. Bailey Zappi, 7 for 8, 72 yards. Dude's about to lose his job, but he's going to be the happiest backup of all time. Go, Swift. I think, unless I absolutely do something stupid. Guys. How? That's why you don't quit. This is why you don't quit. We ah, Let's go. Josh Allen. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, with that dominating... Playoff win, could not be happier with that. 
We officially, no, we officially are about to get our quarterback. This could not have worked out better. Guys, Josh Allen is joining the team for the playoffs. He gets to play with, dude, I want to give a, a career tribute and everyone in the comment to put a zap emoji. Put a zap emoji if you made it here because you know this guy, if, if, it, if there is no zap, there is no us. Messy at times but also the GOAT at times. Dude was an absolute set. Now he, I get to put, I'd probably play Schwartz, Olave, and Hollywood and just do a speed offense with Josh Allen. With this defense, it's a Super Bowl roster. It's a Super Bowl roster, and we got some staff points to spend. I sent the trade. Um, wait. Oh, seventh round pick for Josh Allen. Yeah, they, they sent it as well. Trade accepted. Guys. Let me just introduce you all to our newest quarterback, the newest member of the, the Buccaneer. Let me introduce you. It's not. No. If you're wondering, it's not Lamar Jackson. No, it's not Patrick Mahomes. It's the GOAT. It's the freaking GOAT. Uh, I'm going to change his abilities. I want set feet lead, gunslinger. I got to gotta figure this out. I got I to gotta figure out what the best um, things are for him, but I don't know who we're playing next round. All I know is they should be a little bit afraid because we're playing with a lot of swagger right now. A lot of swagger. A lot of it. A lot of it. A lot of it. Wait, where does Fearless have to go? Okay, go. Gunslinger there. What can I get here? Can I get Fearless here? And then can I get Protected here? Yeah, boom. There we go. Hara Master Protected, Sephi Lead, Gunslinger, and Fearless. Josh Allen, QB1. Guys, I don't know who we're playing around to. We're gonna find out soon enough. Headband on, let's go win the whole thing. Blaze down, boom! Dude, we get a chance of redemption. The Saints end up beating the Bears. <sighs> Packers end up winning. Is this, could you ask for anything else? I, I'm gonna spend my staff points before the game with you guys while we talk about something random about life, but is there anything else we could ask for in this situation other than a redemption match against the Packers? Is there anything else? Um, to me, there's nothing else. There's there's just nothing else. Debo, look at it. He's got three superstar receivers. How are his DBs? I know he went all offense. His DBs aren't that good. See, we can we can throw on this team. The problem is these three superstar receivers are going to make playing man-on-man -man really tough. So I might switch some of my abilities to zone abilities depending on what I think here. Oh, Lamar, Lamar, Lamar. So weird, bro. So weird. He was, he was our QB, but we got Josh Allen now, and I, I'm not afraid anymore. We're gonna spend our staff points, and we're gonna talk about life. Okay, so this is my summer goal. So two summers ago, and if there's other people who have any tips or can help, before the summer before I got married, I'm like an all or nothing person. So I had always golfed, and the summer to, uh, I guess that would be like two and a half years ago, um, I wanted to get good at golf. So I came up with this challenge, and it was the golf for 30 days straight, 18 holes for 30 days straight, and I got way better. Like, I saw huge, huge results. Um, and then I got married, and we moved to Toronto, and we weren't really around any convenient. We were downtown Toronto, so, like, you're an awkward distance from any golf courses, and then COVID happened, so, like, I didn't golf for, like, a year and a half. And then I'd casually go out like once and I'd be all right, but I wasn't very good. And I went golfing again and I was like horrible the other day. I played the worst game of my life. So I decided to come up with a challenge. I thought rather than going 30 days to the course and I'm going to go to the course, I'm going to do the 30 day driving range challenge. It actually starts today um, where every day I'm going to go to the driving range for 30 days. And then all, as I go through those 30 days, I'll hit like three large buckets of balls every single day with every single club. I'll make sure they're good reps. I'll watch videos. I'll correct it. And then we'll see if that does better than actually going. Cause there's so much walking around that happens. I'm going to do the driving range challenge. So you guys golf, let me know. Hey, for all the golfers, if you are a golfer and you're listening, let me know the best golf tip you have. And what is your guys? It's like, um, handicap. Are you guys good? My best game ever. And like, I don't think I'll ever do it again. I, I, it wasn't even that good. Like you guys are probably going to laugh, but I shot like a plus, four I believe through 18 and that was like my best day of my life um I was never amazing after the 30 days but like I was happy with it like I was like oh this this was a huge win 
Guys, this is redemption. I don't know who I'm stealing from him if I win, but I'm stealing something and I'm being mean about it. Ladies and gentlemen, Lambeau Field, let's go. I wanna see if he puts a safety on Hollywood. That's kind of my big question. Yeah, he did. It's exactly what he did. As soon as I see a safety on Hollywood Brown, I'm throwing it. Now, now that I have Josh Allen, no doubt in my freaking mind, I'm throwing that ball up into the into the atmosphere and laughing when it comes down. Good freaking dot, man. Good dot. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Come here. Come here. Got him, coach. Boom. Holy moly, Ed Oliver. Okay. Second shot here on offense. Wow. Ed Oliver just made one of the best plays I've ever seen in my life. Honestly, we got super unlucky with that Josh Allen throw when he missed Hollywood by like three yards. But, hey, what goes around, comes around, goes around, comes all the way back around. And I love to see that. Go, Schwartz. Good job, Schwartz. I'm just throwing the ball deep, bro. I got... I got a QB who I know can make the throws. I'm going to make those throws that I, I have not been able to do much this season of those. But now, I got the QB for it. This nice catch, Goddard. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Dallas. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you kindly. Okay. Really, though? Good job, Alexander. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. Completes it to Evan Ingram. Jackson. And it's a Packers touchdown. Hmm. To the air, Allen. That is caught. It's the tight end Goddard. And he slips up Pat. From the gun, here's Swift. Good job, DeAndre. He's got no, he used all of his timeouts when I was audibling around. So I may as well just try and make him pay. Score before the half. He gets ball, but I don't want to score here and give him time. Then he's in a good position. I don't want him in a good position. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. And nothing much material. Allen now looks to throw. There's Chris Olave. Sam Bell. This is going to result in another. Here's a handoff to Swift. Okay. Take it to the two minute. Oh, like I said, he's got no timeouts, so. Is he in or no? So they're going for it, and here's Allen. So dumb. 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 Obviously, one that should have been caught. They've got to find a way to bring those those two elements together so they can make some fun. He's got a man complete. He's got no timeouts. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. So how about this for a change in field position from inside the 10? Here's first down on the other side of the field. He's got no timeouts, like I said. Second and 24. I put Theo Jackson right there. Good job, Theo. Okay, we're a minimum, guys. I think we're gonna go into half with a lead, but it definitely should be more. And I would love to try and cook something up here. But oh, what a defensive battle! My gosh. What a beam. That's all right. That's actually just as good as what I was planning on doing. Okay. 
Riley Patterson from 58. Sneed it, bro. I sneed it. Nope. And this won't get there. Won't be on line. Oh my gosh. Okay, we recreate, I guess. Hey, ladies and gentlemen. Boom! We back. We have recreated uh, the situation. As you can see, he just went out of bounds. I gotta make sure that I get my depth chart. I think my depth chart's all messed. Um, if I'm being honest, it is completely messed. So that's the worst thing about DCing is having to recreate the situation, obviously. Um, Grant, Darwin, James. How do I want to do this? Theo Jackson. Ed Oliver made a big play. Ed, Ol Ed Oliver has earned his time. Uh, this is a big drive. If we if we can get a stop here and get some points, it is absolutely crucial. I would say I would put it in the crucial category um, that we get points here and get them up. Like it, we, that we force him to zero is what I'm trying to say. I would put that in the very 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 crucial category. Um, try and be creative. Don't overthink it, but still be creative. Jackson on first down. This one swung out to Montgomery. And they more here in the second half. Oh my gosh, Stokes. Take that from him, Stokes. Take that from him. That's great, Randy. Unlucky result, but that's good, Rundy. Now Jackson on first down. That swung out to Moster. And he's going to get this other a good try. Meanwhile, Jackson's throw taken in by Samuel. And he will hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Here's Moster. Dang, look bad. That's bad defense in general. That is bad defense in general. My gosh. Come on, this time? Thank you, Olave. Thank you, Olave. They'll run the draw here with Swift. And he'll follow his on play action, Allen. Flushed out right. Yep, you're good, Josh. There it is. Allen off the play fake. And he's into the end zone for it. Allen will try to throw for it. Got him. Schwartz laser. Good beam. Holy moly. Good throw. Good throw. Good throw. Good throw. Okay. Let's play aggressive. Let's play aggressive defense. Let's get him off the field defense. Come here, man. He's killing. He's killing clock against us. That's dangerous. Getting this out to the flat, Mostert. That is. Here we go. It's Jackson on fourth down. Got him. Got him. Derwin James. Good job, DJ. To throw on second and ten. Allen. What? Oh my gosh. Give me that. Should be GG's, fellas. Goddard, nice catch, Goddard. Red zone threat, GG's. GG's, GG's, GG's. Guys, we're going to get a rematch. We already got this rematch. This one feels good because, hey, this is the person who took... This is the reason I lost Lamar. So it feels good to beat the person who is the reason I lost Lamar. Now, we got to make a tough business decision here. Um, going into the NFC Championship, I would be shocked if I'm not playing Atlanta. Atlanta was pretty dominant this season. Yeah, 44 to 21 win. Okay. Who do we want from... I, I didn't move the ball well. I feel like I need a weapon. I, I really... I, I obviously am not taking Lamar Jackson. I, I would say I need I need a receiver to play there who, who has abilities, who I know will get open. So, 
I am going to be gladly stealing Debo Samuel from him um, and taking Debo Samuel with me to the NFC chip. We'll see you guys there. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, NFC chip, and I take my chips with a dip. I threw four picks with zap. The zap attack. The zap attack. I threw four picks. Okay? Not okay. In no way okay. Uh, but offensively, I didn't feel like he was that much better than me. But the zap attack is going to watch this one from the sideline. The zap attack's not playing in this game. He's watching this game. Guys, we now have Debo Samuel on the team. Um, that helps. Two superstar receivers are needed. When you guys see... Um, when you guys see his team, you will understand um, a lot better why this move is absolutely needed. Um, we're going to go to Atlanta. I'm going to show you guys through his roster. Sam Brown, Nicole, Christian Watson, Aaron Rodgers, Tony Pollard. Look at this DB room. You think I don't need some superstars? Look, look at his DB room. You think I don't? Like, come on, bro. You think I don't need a, some star power over here? Miles Garrett with Jalen Slay. I'm angry about Slay. I want Slay back if I make the Super Bowl. I want him back, and I want David Putton because I feel like it. Name the movie. But his receivers are good. Like I said, I feel like, I don't know, man. Does he have superstar linemen? Holy. Does, does he have superstar linemen? Yes. Yes, he does. Yes. Holy moly. Okay. I don't know what the game plan is. I might have to run 3 through 5 wide. I'm not 100% certain. But, uh, guys, we're one game away. We got the new roster. Let's set the official new roster depth chart. The new roster depth chart. Okay. I think I like, I like this, dude. I like the track team. I think we need speed. As much as I, and Dallas Goddard helps a ton. I don't have any line chems. If I beat him, I'd probably try and snag some of those from him. As far as defense, let's go here. Troy Pride. I think we can play a lot of man against him. I really do. Derwin James is a stud over there. Um, pair him with Theo Jackson on the other side. And then our DB room, our two inside DBs, I want to be Alexander. And Lattimore. Um, with Justin Reed as our user. Part of me wants to use a Derwin. I haven't noticed him that. Actually, no. He made the biggest play of the game with mid-zone KO. I, never mind. Shut up. Shut up, Brett. Um, he had, like, the biggest play of the game with mid-zone KO. Guys, you got to want to succeed more than you want to breathe. And I do. Let's go. NFC chip. Money on the line. Money on the line. Money on my mind. Where's the camera focusing? Not on my face. Let's go. Yep. Allen. Man open. That's Debo. Bro. Well. Bro. <sighs> no way. No. Wow. I'm not even mad. I'm not even mad, dude. That's a lurk. Got him. User freaking click on genius. That was awesome. I read that. Take your three, bro. Take your three. Nope. You're short, bud. Good defense. Okay. It's a good beam. Got him again. Go, Schwartz. Got him. Let's go. Let's play Let's play football today, bro. Enough with the fumbles. Enough with the fumbles. Let's play some football today. I'm here. I'm ready for it. If you're ready for it, let's dance, bro. Play action. Now it's Rodgers. Come here. Bro. He probably realistically has to punch this. Rogers gonna go on fourth down. 
Nope. Got him. Good defense, guys. Good defense. Got hurt! Beam! Dallas got her. On second and eleven now. Rogers. Oh, good try. Now you're behind trying to figure out do I need to blitz him? Do I need to pressure him? How do I gain an advantage on this snap? Got a man, it's caught. It's up. Here's Rogers. Come here. Thank you! Give me those! Boom! Freaking hit stick, bot! Holy moly, Derwin James. Derwin James, Derwin James, Derwin James. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen, dancing to his left. Beam. And he will find his man short. In motion goes to tight end. Rolling to his left. Good job, Debo. Good job, Debo. And the tight end goes in motion left. Back to Debo Samuel for consecutive catches. Motion comes to tight end left. Throw left side there, Schwartz with it. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcon 16. Okay. I am more than content taking three here for the start that I had. I am more than content taking three here. Taking a 10-point lead to half. Throwing is Rodgers. Oh, take the ball. On second down, it's Pollard. And good work. On first and ten, here's Rodgers. Steps away to his own. Give me those. Give me those. Thank you. Troy Pride. They'll send the tight end in motion left. Got him. Dot. That's a dot. Don't fumble. I'm just staying on conservative. Just don't fumble. So now, good job, Goddard. Good job, Goddard. Okay, now I can at minimum go plus 13 and not give him a ton of time, or I can get seven and try and end it. Seven pretty well ends this. Okay. Thing is, I have to, I have to make sure he takes some time off the clock, but I also have to play aggressive enough to where I can, I can score. I'm just gonna play center field. I'm gonna play a lot of this and just I'm center field, so I am responsible for everything. Come here. That's ridiculous. That's just ridiculous. Okay, that's Micah Parsons. Is what it is. That's Micah Parsons. Throwing his Rogers on third down. It's all right. Said so right now the goal is honestly make him work for this. And I put Stokes right there, bro. Got him. Give me that. Bang! Bye bye. Bye bye. You can quit if you like. You can quit if you like. Guys, I always get my get back. Two guys who took important players from me. We sent them to Cancun. So, I always get my get back. End it, Swift. Just end it for me. Just, just end it. Send them home. Bye bye, bud. Bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. I always get my redemption. 
I always get my redemption. And redemption is a dish best served redemption. Goodbye, David. Do I take Slate? It all depends on who I... I just looked at the stream. It looks like I'm playing the Dolphins, which is It's Luke's Xbox Live. Let's look at his team and see what I need. Um, okay, he's got two burners. I want to see his DBs. Filthy. Who is the best player on the Falcons? I don't need Miles Garrett. Me Cole would be really good in the one offense I run, but that offense never works against Luke. But maybe today could be different. I could take me Cole or I could take my DBs back. I just don't think my DBs will help. I think I'm I always struggle to score against him. So I feel like I should take me Cole and then have three superstar receivers. I feel like is my best bet. Holy, we're advancing to the Super Bowl? That other game must be done. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, I am just sending the trade over as we speak. Um, Going to give him a tight end for wide receiver, Mecole Hardman. Guys, we're getting Mecole. I am assuming I'm playing the Dolphins. Holy moly is what it is. Okay. 17 no Dolphins. We got this. I need a minute. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Super Bowl, bro. Holy, me and this dude have been meeting a lot. And he has had my number the last few times that we have met. I'm not even going to lie to you. I'm not even going to sit here and lie to you. I honestly, I wanted to stack the receivers against him because I just feel like I need weapons. I just, I do. Um, I need people who can just go up and get it and go crazy. And me cool is a 97 speed. So I now have a 98 speed superstar and a 97 speed superstar and a 93. Like we should... There should be no reason I shouldn't be able to pass the ball. My defense is still filthy. Who did he take? This is... Who did he take from... Oh, my gosh. Denzel. We're looking at his DBs. I never feel good against him, though. I don't. But, honestly, I've lost to Luke a few times in a row. I, I beat him sometimes in the regular season. I've lost to him a few times in a row. I feel like his... Ooh, his line. His own... Worfs is his only guy. I can... Probably pass him in a little bit against him. I also have no linemen. It's going to be an interesting one. It's going to be an interesting one. Um, like I said, I've, I've matched up against him before. So let me go do my depth chart. One second. Oh, Dak Prescott, baby. Dak Prescott, DK, and the whole squad, man. Choose today. I, I've had two steal players, and I've made the bull in each of them. And I've lost the bull in each of them. Sick of it, bro. I'm sick of losing. Sick of losing to this freaking dude, too. Luke's one of the best players as well. Like, he'd probably be similar. Like, he's probably a top 50 player in the world. Like, he's good. Um, but today, I think I got to beat him. I think it's just time. I don't think I want to lose to him anymore. I think today, we just got to beat Nice catch, Debo. Nice catch, Debo. Okay, I got I got to go on conservative. Good job, Debo. Good job, Debo. Beam. Oh my gosh. Hmm. I could try Stokes. Oh, shoot. Okay, offense. You got to figure something out. That was bad. I had a dot. I had a dot. Dude, he's got so many knockouts on this field. This one complete to me, Cole. Stop him at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football 
Caught him on his D-line. Thank gosh we caught him on his D-line. Okay, that's all right. Two timeouts, we got a chance to get a stop. Two timeouts, we got a chance to get a stop. Who is on him? No. Okay. Minimum, we held him to three. That that's positive in some ways, negative in some ways, but also very positive in some ways. Oh, okay. I feel all right in the red zone against him. Not great. I do feel all right again in the red zone. So I just don't want to allow any big plays, and then we we will fight him in the red zone because I feel like we've done a pretty good job. First down, Prescott. No chance. Like, show me Dak Prescott making that throw. Show that to me. Show it to me, Donnie. Show me Dak Prescott making that throw. What? Thank you. Incomplete, but a penalty flag coming. Bring a receiver in motion right. A throw there, but and they tighten down on the receivers and force the incompletion. Patterson's kick is good. Oh, taking three there is rough, but you gotta you gotta keep it a game. Job Stokes. Hmm. Got off the field, dude. That's half the battle. That's half the battle of winning this game. We got off the field. Okay. I just want to score. I just want to score at this point. Oh. Okay, score and play defense. He's too good in the red zone to risk it. He's way, way, way too good in the red zone to risk it. So, yeah, he can clock me and him nice kick here, but at least I'm getting seven on the board. I couldn't clock 331. I didn't want to risk it. I saw a dot. I took the dot. Let's go. Oh, one stop, man. One stop. I'm going to have like 30 seconds if I hold him to three. And I, that's a pretty solid if. That's a pretty solid if. Right. World's worst defense. 2020. World's worst defense. Last time they were out, they scored as well. We'll see if they can seize that momentum right back. And they have had to send the tight end in motion here. Forced out to his left, and he's third and long. Now Allen. Finding Hardman, and they're able to work 
Allen. There goes a deep ball in zone. And this one he no! Oh! Oh my gosh. Some coaches like to take the shorter, more reliable yardage. Literally had him if it's not for a knockout ability. If it's not for a knockout ability. Oh, we just had him freaking burnt to a crisp, man. Ah, uh, good try. GG's, man. Oh. I'm choked about the one play. Ah, oh, my camera's dead. Oh. Dang, guys. I'm choked about the one throw. I, I had Debo. I had Debo on that throw. That was just dropped. Knocked away. It's the problem with all those deep route KOs, man. They are deadly. Oh, good game to Luke. Um, I shouldn't have. I, I allowed him to just run the ball in, which was a big if. Here is where I needed to stop, and he just ran the ball in. Bad user by me. Another fun Steeler player. Another. I am jinxed in the Steeler player franchises. But oh, all that being said, GG's. Kill like button, guys. I'm trying my best. Put up a good fight. Didn't work. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have a second channel where I post hockey gameplay. Please go subscribe. The nicest thing you did to me, just go check out that channel. Leave a like. Even if you don't like hockey, give it a chance. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, my Instagram is at BrettBQB. My Twitter is TDBearYG. I am a part of Top Dog Madden. You can get all the best tips at topdogmadden.com for your ebooks, all those type of things. Thank you guys so much for watching. Kill the like button again. If you haven't killed the like button on this video, do it. And once again, go check out my hockey.